Praise the Lord, this is D from Simple Complex Men. So excited to come back with another watch and pray. So I ran across this uh, particular video. I thought it was very interesting. Um, for those of you who have may not looked at the uh, Lola uh, Jones video that I, uh, that was posted the other day, I know she's a 40-year-old uh, virgin, um, and she's dealing with some, she wanted to you know, get her eggs frozen, and she's also dealing with the challenges of finding a, a meat you know, at her age and everything. And I thought this is very interesting and hopefully this can spur some conversation um, because it ran across this young lady here and it seems that she went through some things or may have accepted some things, some ideologies and things, that, you know, through her life. And she, it looks like she may have came to a, a uh, to an epiphany, let's say that, um, at this point of her life. And so I'm interested to kind of hear uh, what you all think about it and, and any comments that you may have. But let's go ahead and jump into it real quick. Y'all, I'm tired. I no longer want to be an independent woman. Forget that I-N-D-E. Mm -mm, I'm good. I want to be a housewife. Listen, the next man that has good credit, a stable home, finances is straight, baby, I'm marrying you. I, yes, yes, sir, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not an alpha female no more. I've learned my lesson. Baby, I will be submissive to you. Baby, I will cook for you. I will clean for you. Yes, daddy, whatever you need. You want sex when you want it? Yes, sir, you got it. Baby, you want a meal at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yes, sir, you got it. Take care of me. Because this working two jobs, although I love being a registered nurse, I love my profession, let me just work as needed. Let me work when I want to work. Um, I'm over it. I'm tired, y'all. So hook up, hook, hook your luck. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a husband. I'm ready to do that house. Wow. So, um, <laughs> so I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments on this one. I hope, uh, I mean, and we look for it, you know, we're here for the conversation, you know, because this is the thing, like I was saying before, even in the Lola Jones video, you know, we got to, as, as believers, you know, it, it, Lola Jones, I mean, no one's going to say she's not an attractive woman or anything like that. Christian, beautiful Christian. You could tell she has a beautiful heart, everything. But a lot of times we we get caught up with these ideologies of the world. And um, and if you listen, hopefully I kind of dropped the, the, the video, I Love Not the World, um, I'll probably drop them both at the at the same time, but I kind of talk about the the what the world is and why the Bible tells us to love not the world, and because the world has its own um, order set up and ideologies that are that a lot of times run contrary to the Word of God, and sometimes we think we're smarter than the Word of God. We think we're better than the Word of God. You know, I don't need that. That thing is old. That that was. Back thousands of years ago, how can that possibly uh, work for today? You know, which is interesting because it's like, don't you want something that we always say you want something that's what tested, tried and true. Right. Why? The only way you get that is because over long, <laughs> over the long haul, you know, you don't want anything. It's like, look, hey, look, I made this car, you know, this this I'm going to invest in a business or whatever it is. And, you know, I just started yesterday, you know, just got it going and I want you to invest in it. You're like, huh? You just started yesterday. Well, there's nothing to invest in yet. You haven't generated anything. You have, you know, no, it's the business going to work. I want you to invest in it now. You're like, no, let me see what you do. Let me see if you can, you know, uh, get some customers, some clientele. Uh, let's see if we can generate it after, you know, maybe did, you know, uh, you know, got your uh, profit and loss statements and things like that. And then maybe we can look at it and see what is the true value of the company. But a lot of times that that takes time, you know, and right now we're in this microwave society now, you know, which has to be instant. Everything is instant, you know, and so things of old and the Bible talks about removing what happens when we remove the, the landmarkings, those things, those crucial foundations of society what happens to that society and i think we're just reaping <laughs> we're just reaping what we sown at this point you know so a lot of us are struggling if we're really honest 
You know, we're tired of it. We don't like it because it's a waste of time, energy, money, resources, everything constantly going on this date to that date. Then it don't work out. You're, you're, you're sharing your personal life with this person that doesn't work on it. You got to share again. And, you know, it's just this cycle, you know, and it's like, when are we going to get off the first wheel? <laughs> you know, at some point, it's not meant to be on there forever. You know, let's just get off and move to another ride at least. But we're just like staying on this thing. And so I think we need to talk about this. So go ahead again, like we always say, like, subscribe, share, please put your comments in the comment section so we can have a good discussion about this so we can get us all. It's not about uh, the woman per se. It's not about the man per se. It's about both of us operating in our ordained um, roles and purpose and positions that God has ordered and not what the world has ordered. So that way we can effectively carry out God's purpose in the earth.